Okay, everybody, I am back. Here is um, my next video here. I am normally, I do, when I need to cover up my grays, I hope you can see them. Oh, I can see them. Let me take my glasses off. If you can see the whiskers over here, there's some gray. There's gray up here. There's gray over here. And then I have a couple gray strands up in the top. I'm not sure if you can see or not. Usually my gray is just around the perimeter here and a couple strands at the top. And so typically, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I um, use henna. And I want it darker now, so that means I would have had to do henna and then apply indigo. And so I kept forgetting to order and kept forgetting, kept forgetting. And then I'm looking at my hair and I'm like, oh, it looks so dull. It needs some life and I need to get these little gray whiskers out of here. Um, and so I'm too young for that. So I'm, no, I'm not bringing, letting it all come in. So what did I decide to do? Oh, yes. Y'all, the Shea Moisture Hair Color System in Jet Black. And so, I have not put a, a color like this, even though this is no ammonia, no sulfates, um, or whatever. It's still a color. Um, so, I decided to take the plunge and get this. Now, of course, I watched, um, because what got me into the natural hair, the first person I was ever introduced to was um, Natural 85. So, she did a couple videos on this, how she applied it, the effects to her hair, and um, all of that good stuff. So, I re-watched her video, and I said, okay, I'm going to get it now. I probably could have bought two, but they only had one. And the other color they had two of was soft black, but I want a dark black. Um, so I just grabbed the one jet black. We'll see how it does. I will come back in after I after it's all applied, just to let you see. But hopefully you can see see all those grays. I hope you guys can see all these grays here on the side, right here, here, here. Yeah. And my hair looks very dull, very, very dull. So what I'm going to do, here's everything that comes in it. I'm sure many of you already know. Um, this is my first time ever using this product. Um, but the instructions are in here and they look pretty um, straightforward, actually. Nothing. Um, I'm using the bottle technique. They have a brush technique and a bottle technique. I'm using the bottle technique. So... Um, and that's shaking it up in a bottle and using the bottle to squirt it down, but not using the brush. Um, I'm sure I can still get to this. I might have to use the brush to get to these little whiskers, but we'll see during my application how things are going. But I will come back. There's three steps. So I will come back and let you all know um, when, I had, when I set the timer. It says set timer and wait for 15 minutes or th up to 30 minutes. Oh, for 30 minutes for natural hair. So we'll see. Um, after 15 minutes, check color every five minutes. Okay, so at 15, 20 minutes, I'll um, check the color and that's probably when I'll come back and just let you see how it's uh, coming in and we shall see, we shall see, we shall see. So everybody, thanks and I will re be right back after I apply this and it has been um, sitting on my hair for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. I will let you know when I come back. Thanks. Okay, so I decided to come back real quick to show you. I'm almost done applying and maybe I am getting away with one box. I thought I would need two, but now I'm kind of squeezing what's left. See how it's oxidized? Um, I'm kind of squeezing what is left into my hair and see the little whiskers around the sides look like. The color is starting to take, so I'm going to try to put what's left, so I'm just running it through here all the way to the ends. It's still quite a bit in here, so maybe I am getting away with one bottle. So I am applying it all the way down. Not getting touching 
putting it on, on my roots. I am getting close to the roots, of course, with the edges and everything and trying to make sure that I'm getting my um, the little whiskers on the sides. But, um, and of course, this is my hair shirt, so getting, I'm not worried about getting um, color on this shirt. So I'm gonna just keep applying. I know I'm not the best at applying. <laughs> um, and I'm standing up in my bathroom doing it because I have a mirror to look into to make sure I'm getting it. I did cover up my sink, but from what I can tell, the color is taking. Yeah, from what I can tell, the color is taking. I'm just gonna try to use what's left and put it in between where I didn't get it so, so good at. But yeah, I can tell the color is definitely taking. I don't know how often I'll need to do this. I may or may not do this through the winter. And for Wisconsin, I'll be doing this until April or May <laughs> in 2016. Um, and then go back to henna, but I, I'll need to do research. Um, on that and just make sure that you know my hair is okay because even though this is all natural you know I don't want to be switching back and forth or if anybody has done this and then did henna afterwards maybe three four months later leave it in the comments below and let me know you know how that worked for you if you noticed anything let's see yeah so it looked like my whiskers the little the colors on the sides are gone, which does way better than um, henna. When I henna, the little whiskers down here, I can never, I'll always have to clip out one or two gray strands because I just couldn't get the henna up in there. So, yeah, and I forgot to rub this side in. So maybe that one spot might be darker <laughs> than the other spot. So, there's still some left in the bottle so I'm just gonna try to use as much as I can because it don't it says it fully oxidized after 30 minutes and I know it's not been 30 minutes me putting this in my hair so yeah so I'm gonna that's basically it I'm gonna put the rest of this in my hair Ooh. go ahead and put the rest of this in my beloved Green Bay Packers just lost to the North Carolina Panthers Boy, and they didn't pick it up until it was too late in the fourth quarter. Um, or they very well could have won the game. Let me see there. All my whiskers are covered up, it looks like, from what I can tell. Yeah, looks like those little gray patches that I had is definitely covered up. So that is it. I'm going to go set my timer and leave this on for 20 minutes. I don't know if it said put a plastic bag over it or not, but I am. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I didn't read in the directions that it said you, I needed to do that. Um, that I needed to cover my hair after application. So, I don't know if that would do anything to it by me covering it up. But... It's definitely darker. I love that my gray grays around the edges look so gone. So I am loving that. And at the top is looking gone. Yeah, it's looking gone. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah. I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to even. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know how much you can actually see back there. I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes. Once I rinse it out, I will come back and show you all what it's looking like. All right. I'll be back. Okay, everybody, I am back. I am done with my hair, and I just finished twisting it up, put some big twists in there as late 
I actually um, got done with my hair much later than I wanted to, but here it is. The color, the color is, the color is definitely in. I'll turn around in the back. I can't tell. I'll be able to see from the video if it got it good in the back, but I am definitely loving it. So again, I use the um, Shea Moisture Hair Color System, and it's you can't tell how much is left, but it's probably somewhere down here that it's left, um, truly left in there. So what I did, I did use what came in there, the shampoo and the restorative conditioner. And then I put, I don't think I really read what this, the elixir was for, but what I did after I rinsed, um, no. I put this in and then I put this over it and then I put deep conditioner on it, the deep conditioning mask. And this is, it was called Happy Nappy Honey. I don't know what, what she's called now, but um, it's the Camu, Camu Olive and Honey Caribbean Coconut Deep Conditioning Mask, which I really like. This used to be a staple of mine, um, but I'm looking for something on the ground now for a, a deep conditioner. And so then I um, actually left my conditioner in my hair because I had some errands to run. Um, and so the conditioner probably stayed in my hair for two hours. And so, I, excuse me, I came back home, rinsed it out. And for my leave-in, I used, I really like this, the Natural Grow, the Sweet Plantain leave-in conditioner. I used that for my leave-in. And then for moisturizer, I used the Mango and Papaya Hair Lotion, which was um, from uh, Botiology Naturals. And then I sealed with my um, Bubble Bistro Body Frosting in the cake scent. And so that's what I've been using this for because I haven't been wanting to go around smelling like the cake. It got hair in it, so it looked a little gross. But I've been um, using this to seal as of late. So yeah, my um, so my impression is, and I get actually this when I henna, uh, my hair do feel hard, harder. I won't say it's hard. It's not hard, but it do feel a little brittle, even with the deep conditioning and everything. Um, so... We'll see how that softens up over the next um, couple days. I'm thinking I, I probably use this again um, just because it's easier to do um, than the henna and indigo. And so we'll see how my hair responds to it. I know I will have to keep up my deep conditionings, um, my moisturizing deep conditionings too. Um, if I'm going to continue to use the Shea Moisture uh, system. So, and this wasn't on sale. The regular price and my target is $14.99. And so it wasn't on sale. Um, so I, if I see it on sale, I'll probably just buy a couple if I see it on sale. And just so I can have it so I don't run into this needing to rush out and get it. Now, I think um, initially I thought I was going to need to buy two um boxes but one box worked just fine so I have no complaint about using one box um so my hair is really did shrink on up too because <laughs> look at that so yeah so there's definitely some shrinkage which means my hair is accepting the the um, moisture and all of that good stuff sucking it on up and everything so I'm fine with that all I'm going to be doing is pinning this up tomorrow anyway uh, for work and pinning up some kind of way so that's basically it everybody my review is I do like it my hair is um, like I said a little um, uh, kind of that brittle feeling not overly brittle but it does have kind of a brittle feeling like I need to be deep conditioning every time I do my hair you know next two three times I do my hair make sure I do a nice uh moisturizing deep conditioner probably even will I probably will even do a hot oil treatment next time to really help help that out even more so 
that's it. I'm satisfied with it. And um, it covered up. It served its purpose, which for me was to cover up these grays. And yeah, all my little whisker grays are covered up around my perimeter where I was having all of the grays. So yes, I'm good. All right, everybody. Thanks so much again for tuning in and you all have a great um, and prosperous week. Bye.